No, I was gonna say, I'm sorry, I was mashing that shit like an absolute champion. You, you can get the hell here. out of here. How long has Duck been bitten bef like for? Because we were obviously in a nightmare, so we fell asleep. I'm guessing that Duck's immune system is probably Rose less than that of an adult's. Oh yeah, this is where Duck's about to turn, isn't it? Now we gotta deal with this. Yeah. To be fair, I've been wanting to blap this kid the whole goddamn game, so... Hopefully you guys are doing well, by the way. Hopefully you're having a good time. Is there any way to get around it? Sorry, Doesn't that fucking like stupid it. motel I'm sequence took maybe. 20 years. Can't really she probably shouldn't have. This seems like a safe area. All this brush will stop anything from creeping up on us. And I'd like everyone out of the RV except her. Unless the zombies are fucking predators. Maybe they hide in the underbrush. Maybe that's where they get their field advantage, you know? Why don't you and I go look around? Yeah, everyone else relax. Claire, stay close to Kenny and Cat, okay? Lee, if you come across anything to drink, uh, if there's a dining car or something, I think Duck's a Don't stay close to Kenny and Cat. They have a dying kid that's bit. Be careful in there. What? You think there might be something dangerous inside an abandoned locomotive? Cross my I mean, probably. Have you ever seen a zombie movie, Lee? Come on, dude. Have you ever seen Return of the Living Dead? You know when they're carrying the fucking tubes of necrotoxin or whatever the fuck that's called? Shit, what is it called? I know it's green. I think it's just... It's called something toxin. I just can't remember. Fuck. Duck gonna be... Dwiving Twacta in heaven soon? Yes. Sorry, that took me a minute. I had to read it like an actually autistic kid, so I had to, like, decode it. Now I'm trying to remember Jesus. what the fuck that shit from the freaking... Do you mind? I'm trying to recall what the fucking shit from Return of the Living Dead is called, asshole. I didn't act for a fucking calling card. You douche. No, that would draw a noise. Seatbelt's a stupid idea. He's a very good extra zombie, though. They definitely got the right guy for the role. It's in pretty good shape for a wreck. What the fuck is that shit called? I should know this. I'm a really big horror buff. I should know this. Shit. See me this way. Trioxin. Fuck. I knew it was something like that. Damn it. Trioxin. That's what it is. I was just forgetting to try. Oh, I thought I was gonna feel up Ben. What the fuck? I was like, what is this prompt for? Whoa. Somebody's been living in here. Yeah, man. Nice move, Ben. Shh. Think they're gone? Stupid dick. So. But this looks I mean, the whole reason I went around the train car was to not make noise, car. and then he just throws the door open like he's fucking Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw. Been getting my whore on lately. Binging a bunch of shit on Shudder, so have I. Shudder has some really good stuff sometimes. Like, if you haven't seen any of Lucio Fulci- Uh, sorry, hold on, let me not butcher this. If you haven't seen any of Lucio Fulci's movies, definitely watch those. The Beyond is an absolute fucking banger. City of the Living Dead is really good. House by the Cemetery is a little bit eh. But it's like, okay. It has really good music. That's where Kenny's got us headed. But I'm a big Lucio Fulci aficionado fanatic. I do love my Dario Argentos. And my Giallo films. And my weird fucking abstract Lucio Fulci weird eye horror shit. Might be something inside. I'm waiting for them to add in a violent nature because I haven't seen it yet. I literally just got out of Long Legs and it was a very weird movie. It wasn't really scary. It was more abstract than scary, I think. 
I really didn't have high expectations for it, and it was certainly overhyped, but I think it was cinematographically directed very well. Yeah, I could be bent over the head with this. Like, open wide, pal. I'm on the fence with long legs. I'm getting pretentious vibes from the reviews and not substance vibes. Yeah, it's very much like that. It was kind of more like a, um... How, how do I word it? It was more of like a dribble, feed it to you slowly movie. And it was... Drawing the mental connections through it and, like, the conclusions to everything was actually pretty baseless. And it wasn't really all that, like, deep or anything. I do think Nicolas Cage's performance as, like, the dude was actually pretty funny, though. Like, he was kind of wacky. And he sings a bit in the movie, and it's actually really funny because the singing is actually genuinely kind of unsettling. I guess we should grab the water for Duck, huh? I'll take this to Kendra for Duck. Well, fuck that. Kid's gonna die anyway. Might as well drink it ourselves and be like, I found a water, but it's empty. At least I think there was water in it at one point or another. But nope, Lee's stupid. That's okay, though. That's fine. This is gonna be a long-ass stream because that motel part took forever. I was actually hoping to be through this chapter in about two and a half hours, and it's looking more like it's gonna be like three and a half hours on yeah, account of that. Found some water. Oh, thank you. He's allergic to bees. Is that right? That's all I can keep thinking about. No, he's like, allergic to zombies, Katja, now. not bees. Zombies. I know. Because well, he got bit and he's gonna die, you know? But you're probably right. I'm so good at improv, dude. Especially when kids are dying, that's the weird part. Hey, Clem. I hope you didn't like Duck too much. What are you going to do with Lily? That's a great fucking question. I don't know. Something, I suppose. I don't know what we can I'm do. I'm just gonna fuck her into next week until her mind blanks she out and she quits being such a bitch. Him. Yeah, it, it's horrible. No, she didn't kill him. Duck killed himself defending Ben. That's different. Lily's gun was aimed for Ben, not for Doug, so I kind of feel her on that. Plus... Fucking Ben is a piece of shit. In the box car back there. Whoa, is this what it looks like? I think so. These tracks lead right to Savannah. Holy hell. Can you guys see about moving that thing? We could have something here. Yeah, we're on it. You worried about keeping her in there? I cracked a window. I sure as hell don't want her out here with us. I think she's a little bit more dangerous in there. Okay, so I obviously have to go to the other end of the train and undo the spike that's holding the cars together, but I don't know where that is. I'm thinking it's going to be near the zombie back here, but I don't know. No, because there's no more cars. This is the front of the train. Do I need to use the wrench to fucking deck the zombie in the head so I can climb through the car to get to the other side or something? No, that's going to make noise. Animal crackers? Okay, I don't really care about that. Yeah, I can open the door, that's fine. This door's gonna hurt. Come on, Lee, put your fucking back into it, you lazy dick! Too loud. No shit too loud, so hit him with the fucking stupid wrench. Deck him in the fucking mouth. Because if I undo the seatbelt, he's just going to lunge at me and grab me and I'm going to die. But I can't hit him from here, so what the hell? Do I have to go through the train to the other side of the car and deck him from this side? Yeah, I know, exactly. What kind of bitch-ass, half-ass swing was that? It's almost like Lee's trying to let the zombie live so somebody else can get killed. Some whack shit. Yeah, see, look at that. Like, I'm not doing that. I'm not drifting the cursor. It's doing that on its own. Like, I'm not doing that. 
That's so fucking weird. That's probably why the shooting section was so fucking bad. I mean, not impossible, but it did suck ass. Speaking of sucking ass, what's going on, Ben? Fucking loser. I hate Ben so fucking much, dude. Wait, how does this boxcar not have a separate side? Oh, does it have a separate side? Am I just stupid? Oh, it does have a separate side, and I'm just stupid. Oh, wow, okay, alright. I'm really dumb, then. Fair enough. <clears throat> it's stuck. I can definitely pry this thing free. If I can break it loose first. Okay, so we have to break it loose first. Shit. Broken. Okay. Derailed. Derailed, okay. So, do I have to pry it loose by going to the front cab first and then coming back here? I must have to go through the doors within the train. That must be what this is. I must just be really slow or something on the uptake. No, because I went back here already, didn't I? This is where I got the tool from. Yeah, from the side doors. Oh, there's another fucking door that I didn't see. Oh, god damn it. Shit. Just bash him in the dome, dude. We got one. Walker, sitting in the chair. We got him. We gotta look him over. That's some yeah. pretty cool artwork. That's some freaking uh, creep creep show shit. A little bit. Also, why this camera angle? <sighs> Am I really trying to feel up the zombie? Throw him on Ben. Come on, dude. It's just a prank, bro. Oh, that dude was not killed by a zombie. I don't think this guy came back. Yeah, this seemed Christ. like deliberate. But light is blinking. Push it. Push it? Why not? Are you fucking serious? Here, Are you look. fucking stupid? It's just the brakes. Okay, I'll give you that one. This fucker works? Seems like it. I'll be damned. Ben doesn't work because he's a liability. He I don't know. He sucks That's ass. Mr. Amtrak over here. No clue. Well, let's look around. Okay, and never mind. Ben is doing the like dirty work and cleaning up the one zombie body. I guess Ben, ben is you useful keep an for eye on something. The girls and Duck, I'd appreciate it. I'm gonna make sense of these controls. Duck is a girl because he's a little bitch. So keep an eye on the girls was more than sufficient, Man, Kenny. This could be exactly what we need. It's a bunch of papers. Dude, oh my God! Look how retarded this kid is. Oh man, both his kids look retarded. They look like they sniff macaroni and cheese, dude. What the fuck? A bunch of maps about Georgia cities. Nothing about the train. Okay. Ugh. Ugh, indeed. Shit, this is it. Instructions on starting the engine. Damn, pages are gone. What is this, Resident Evil? From the writing. What, do I have to go, like, look and find the missing pages to be able to put back on the pamphlet so I can learn how to work the fucking train or something? I have no idea what to do with Oh, these. I have to use Clementine's leaf rubbing shit. I think. Yeah? That makes sense. Either that or we can hit it with the spike remover until it just works. It's another really good way of doing things. Where is Clementine, anyway? I was gonna say, I thought she was over here somewhere. There's a notepad on the train. Do you have any pencils or anything in your pack? No, I wish. Maybe in the RV. What do you need it for? 
There used to be something written on the notepad. When John Wick was able to kill men with the pencil, I'm pretty sure I could take out a couple zombies. I'm out of paper, and there's all sorts of new leaves around here. Alright, so she said she's out of paper. She said there was all sorts of leaves and shit. We found a notebook that we think might have had some starter directions on it, but the page is missing. Well, I'm sure you guys will Did figure it out. Did you see Late Night with the Devil, by the way? Really good old school vibe banger that came out this year? No, but I heard good things about it, but I haven't gotten around to watching it yet. There's a few movies that have it's been on my list. I'm currently waiting on Terrifier 3. That is probably my most anticipated film right now. Everything else that has come out in recent years that I've wanted to watch, I've been trying to find on a site where I don't have to rent it, but they haven't been added yet. Okay, so I gotta figure out what to do here. I think the leaf rubbing shit is like the right way to go, but like if Clementine doesn't have any paper and any rubbing utensils, then I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Do these have different tools or different supplies, or like what's the what's the deal with this? Okay, so that's nothing. This one had the tools in it, this other one. There's no other cabinet doors, so it must be nothing to do with that right now, anyway. I can't imagine they would have the key item that I need to be able to do this right here. That doesn't seem very likely. I don't remember going back to the RV for anything. I have no idea what to do with these. Shit, this is it. Instructions on starting the engine. Pages yeah, I got there. that, but like, what the fuck do you do? Can I see the indentations from the writing? I was thinking we might have to do something with the zombie, but the only thing that was there was a box of animal crackers. What? We still got the rest of the train attached to us back there. Shit. I tried to yank the pin out, but it won't budge. Well, we ain't going anywhere until it does. Okay, so I need to remove the pin, but I can't remove the pin until I start the fucking train. What the fuck? I wasn't even on this, dude. I was on this. What the hell? So, I gotta figure out what to do with this stupid train, then. Now this kinda does feel like a Resident Evil game, because I'm on a mission for a key item to obtain another key item to give me some knowledge to be able to get past a hurdle. So it just feels like a giant-ass fetch quest right now. And the thing I'm questing for is a fuck to give. So I can't kill the zombie in the car. I'm just gonna try going and opening the car door or whatever and like de-locking his seatbelt or whatever, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna get me fucking killed. But that's the only thing I can literally think of to do right now. I literally can't think of anything else to do. It's the only thing I can think of that might actually have some merit to it. It might give me like something I need to be able to do this. It's the only dead end that I haven't explored. How do I get around there? What the fuck? Now I don't remember. I was able to get around there one way, and now I don't remember how I did it, because I went through the train as like a last resort kind of thing, and that's how I wound up on the other side, but then I was on the opposite side of the car that's overturned, so I wasn't able to get past. Okay, I can hear it, so I'm getting closer. Look at the cow catcher. That wouldn't have anything to do with... Okay. Oh. This game is so fucking stupid with that bullshit. Like, you mean to tell me that... Like, I'm sorry. Like, I'm trying to logically examine this. So, like, before I had the option to deck him in the head with the tool that I have. So, I, I unbuckle him because Lee didn't have the reach to hit him before. So, I thought I was going to have to swing and deck him in the head. That's why I put my cursor there. And then it's like, oh, no, you have to slam the car door on him. It's like, what the fuck, dude? Why do you set me up for failure? That's so bad. Like, I get that the car door was loose, and I remember Lee opening it before, like, saying, like, yeah, this'll hurt. Like, I remember that, but, like, holy fuck. Like, how am I supposed to know, situationally, circumstantially, exactly what they want me to interact with, and exactly what they want me to use? Like, it needs to be a little bit more environmentally evident what they intend for you to use. Like, that's kinda bad. 
Like, I'm just gonna chalk that up as a funny, because it is kind of hilarious that Lee said it's gonna hurt or whatever, and then he fucking, like, literally gets eaten out by a zombie, so that's kind of hilarious, but... That's kind of bad game design, I'm not gonna hold you. Like, that's kind of bad. But it's cool. What am a dick? What a dick? Bit him in the dick? I mean, like... It's not like the zombies are going to be able to get any corn dogs anytime soon. I'm pretty sure there's not going to be any carnivals coming back anytime soon. So now the question becomes, what the fucking hell do I do? What the hell could I use the box of animal crackers for? I need paper to do the freaking rubbing on the thing, but like... Do I have to go back to the RV? Was it nothing to do with the zombie in the car? Do I have to go back to the RV for the paper? No, come on, dude. It's so hard to tell what you're interacting with because the text only pops up after you get the action. So it's just, it's weird. See, I thought I was going to be interacting with the thing on the counter. There's some paper right there. Why can't I just use that? Hey, Lily. Lily. I'm sitting here tied up like an animal while you guys decide what to do with me. It's not like that. Hey, you What's know, some like? people find that kind of hot. I'm just saying different strokes for different folks. And different bananas for different boats. That's all I'm trying to say. It's like, what the fuck is that shit? How come they give me the option to look at the console from far away, but then when I'm right up on it, they don't give me the option to do anything? That's so weird. Okay, I got a pencil now. I could have killed you. I had you while you were rummaging around in the front there. I know you did what you did for a reason. And Why would you kill me? But the other part sees you with your back turned to me and knows I could have killed you. I need to go. That was very nice of her to steal the RV oh, or to wait to do so until I got the pencil. Come back here, you crazy bitch! Fuck! Stop! She's not gonna stop, dude. Nice going, Lee. You lost me my RV. I was gonna bang my son's sister wife in that. Let's focus on the train. I like how Kacha doesn't care, but Kenny's like, my fucking RV! Well, we're fucked if we don't figure out how this thing works. Can't spend the night out here. Yep. Elky's still sick, you know. We need yeah, to I, have a, I have a feeling a couple more things than just your RV and Lily are foobar around here, dude. Did you forget about your dying kid? <laughs> By chance? Oh, I don't need a sheet of paper. I just needed the pencil. I'm dumb. I just needed the pencil to do the rubbing and get the imprint on the fucking sheet that I rub with the pencil. I'm so stupid. I was overthinking the fuck out of this. I'm just dumb. I figured it out. I am smart. Might be missing a couple letters, but I am smart. Perfect. Yeah. You read it now? Yeah. Should be able to just follow the steps to get the engine on. Hell yeah. Sounds good. Easy. Alright, so six is too low, too high, up, down, up, and then right and vertical. Wait, huh? Bruh, I was nowhere near the door, Mr. Lee Everett, if that is your real name. Come on, dude. Oh, I see. The interactable for the thing is down here. That's fucking stupid. Alright, though. Okay, this one's vertical, that one's horizontal. Are you gonna give me the option to meddle with the thing, or what? Okay, so this was... Was this down, down, or up, up? Because I remember it was one of the two, but I don't remember which one. I gotta refer to the note. I already fucking forgot. 
Hey, kid. What's I don't want to talk to Kenny. Oh, Fuck Jackson. Kenny. Kenny's a bitch. I don't care. Go to the fucking notepad. Stupid dick. Thank you. Alright, it was two downs. So that's what I was trying to remember. Speaking of downs, how's your kid doing, Kenny? Fucking quit leaving this door! Fucking bastardly. Okay, I was right. It was two downs. Alright. And then it's an up down, right? Is it... No, it's down down and then it's up up. That's right. And then it's up down up. Son and then it's vertical bitch. horizontal. Whatever you did, let the dash up. So far, so good. Is it supposed to be right and then vertical? Now we're talking. Oh fuck me! Are you joking? Why the fuck would Kenny say the dash lit up like I did something right if I did something wrong? Okay, I'm just an idiot. All right, fair enough. I reverse ordered those two buttons. That's what I was doing incorrectly. Okay, that makes actual perfect sense. Now I feel like a dipshit. So this thing better fucking work now, otherwise I'm going to be right back where I was. Okay. Okay. Jesus fuck. Holy shit. Okay, that was actually really simple, I'm just really, really, really dumb. <laughs> I should say, you know what? What about Doug? What about it? Look, Kenny, it's something we're gonna have to deal with. Yeah, it's absolute here, skill Kenny. issue, I agree. We don't know shit, Lee. Let's fucking enjoy this. Mom, let's and then a zombie way. comes crashing through and it's like, ah, and just fucking grabs him and like tears into his neck and he just dies. It's all yours. I don't like the fact that he's bent over with the camera like this and he's like, it's all yours. Huh? <laughs> I'm not from Alabama, Florida, Kenny. What the fuck are you talking about, dude? I, I meant the train. Mm -hmm. I knew we were bros. I didn't think we were bros like that, dude. I didn't think we were prison Still documentary attached. bros. Can you go find out where we're stuck? Get us unstuck? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Now we go unhook the car. Now we go unhook the cab. Okay. Fucking hell. Again, this was supposed to be like a two and a half hour stream, and it's gonna be like a three and a half, four hour stream because I'm fucking dumb and inept. That's entirely cool. I'm totally cool with that, but... I just, I wish I wasn't so fucking stupid. That gun shooting segment, though, however, that was absolutely not skill issue material. That was like fucking trash game. Would have been nice to know that I could literally pop out of cover for like six seconds at a time without worrying about getting shot. Hey, Kenny, we're loose! When you think about three people trained on you with sniper rifles flanking you, you really don't, like, do it with the impression that you can be out of cover for like five or six seconds. Like, you're trying to, like, duck into cover and then, like, weave and then take a pot shot and then go back into cover you and then pop out stuff. again and shit. You touch him, my stuff. I took the map of the train routes. That's fine, you can have that. Really? Yeah. I got them all right up here. I guess it's no worse for wear. You know what? Props to Thanks, Chuck for Chuck. being the first Charles, sane hobo Lee. that I've ever met. That you grew outside. He's not there. like feasting into the, the fucking carcass the of a rat or something. Him too. I saw you He's not disheveled and has like weird stains and imprints on his legs and shit. Yeah. What? But He's not festering from rot from the inside. It's still kind of freaking me out. Train folk will do that. Already met everyone outside. Train they folk. All to me right quick in direct sunlight. What? Oh, okay. Oh, I see. There's a separate rail. I thought he, like, jumped down, and then in the middle of his jump down, defied gravity, and then What's did, like, that? another jump down. Yeah, I did. That was horrifying as shit. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. 
He gave us candy. <laughs> Lee was about to protest. He's like, he's not normal. He's a hobo. <laughs> you have candy. Boy, I got the last piece I got on me. Figures. Animal crackers aren't candy, asshole. You kitty? Sure did. Man shares my love of the road. That's for sure. <coughs> mm, it's getting there. I'm awful sorry your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. Uh, no. And not this time, Pappy. Whatever I got. Although it ain't much. Thank you. Come on, check like good people. Do same. Why don't we hold off on that? Stay with us. We'd like the company. Little does he know Duck is autistic and not worth the stuff. I say just hit it. Hit Duck over the head with that acoustic guitar. Just get it out of the way. Just do it. Here. Found these. If Duck's up for it. Thank you. That's very thoughtful. He isn't fussy, you know. What? Most kids, they're really fussy about what they'll eat. Hate vegetables, that kind of thing. Not Duck, huh? No. The most trouble I ever have is making him use a fork. Thank you, Lee. Sure. Yeah, that tracks. I'm not concerned. So that's it. I'm just We're hoping that loose. when Duck turns, Seems if I bribe way, him yeah. with animal crackers, Great. he'll remember that I did him a solid and not bite him. We don't me. got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. Wanna ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. Haven't found anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Duck's sick. Get on the train, Clementine. He's getting sicker. I mean, that's that a valid can. concern. <laughs> yeah, Kenny's like, oh shit, damn, he's really fucked up. We can't ignore this. Look at the kid, Kenny. This is happening. Ain't shit happening. And if it were, what can we do here? Get on the train, and we find something better. That is the plan. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through! Get on, Kent. I'll be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going. Kenny's fucking delusional. You want me to beat some sense into him? Yeah, Lee's got his fucking G19 in his pocket. He ain't fucking around. Finally, okay, we can finally get going. Jesus Christ. Like three years later. Yeah, I was gonna say, and then Ben was just like back there, we forgot him. No, he was kinda just hard chilling. Fuck me, that took far too long. Oh hey look, there's zombies here too. At least they got a welcoming party. You know, it's gonna get worse and worse the more you look at him. <laughs> Three adults taking care of the kids. No disrespect, son. It is. Your daughter's something else. She's a survivor. Has been from day one. Takes after her dad, looks like. Lee. Lee, I need you right now. I need you to go get Ken. What's up? Would you get that off his face? My hands are full here. No, I'm not getting that off his face. What if he turns into a zombie and fucking bites me, you idiot? That's a risk I'm not willing to take. You're sitting here coddling him like he's a fucking baby chimp. I'm not doing that. You're out of your fucking mind, lady. 
You're even more psycho than your He's husband. Your husband's just fucking sick with grief. Okay. You're sick with delusions. Jeez. Okay, fine. I'll go talk to Kenny and be like, Hey, dude, your son's dying. Your wife needs you. You want to come back and kill your son real quick? And he's gonna be all like, Damn it, Lee, I told you to tape that fucking episode of Lizard Lick Towing, you bastard. Why didn't you do it? And I'm gonna be like, I don't know how to work a TiVo, Kenny. Calm the fuck down. I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. You're speaking Fleur Denise. You need to stop the train. No, come on, let's kill your son while the train is moving. It'll be a lot cooler. It'll be like an action movie. Like, you ever seen fucking Mission Impossible? What's that one movie with fucking Keanu Reeves and that one bitch where there was like the bomb on the train car? You know what I'm talking about? It could be like that. I can't remember what the name of it is, but... Kenny. What? Ken. What the hell's that? It's your wife's period blood. Actually, it's yours. Nothing you seem to care about. Fuck you! You don't know what I care about. I care about saving my son and getting all of us to the ocean. The same way you cared about Herschel's son? That's on both of us. It is, but you never got over it. Who gives a shit? Oh, damn. You think you're the reason Duck was bitten? Like you had this coming or something? You didn't kill Herschel's son. Yes, I did. And now it's catching up to me. That's not what went down. You looked out for your kid, and a bad thing happened to someone else's. There ain't no way this world lets my son live when I help put someone else's in the ground. That's not the way it works. You know that. Stop the train, man. Yeah, see, the way this scene plays out, you can either convince Kenny to stop the train by being sentimental and, like, sympathetic for his situation, or you can force him to stop the train with an all-out fist fight, like Super Brawl. And I think it's a little bit more emotionally devastating to have to get him to stop the train, and for him to realize that, like, he needs to make a very vital, pivotal decision for the good of the group. And take care of son, you know, take care of boy. But I also like fist fighting Kenny on a moving and train it's, because it's pretty fucking metal. I think it's time. Yeah, he's looking pretty dead. I would say on a scale of alive to dead, good. he's probably about a 95. That out. What do you need? I. I. Gun, maybe. Gotcha. This is not possible. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those I got things. a pipe wrench in my back what pocket. If, what if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. Yeah, exactly. I need you to hear me. What do you hey, saying? Hey, Katja, you need a pipe that wrench? I got hurt. one here in my back pocket. It's foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Cap. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. Just drift off to sleep. Right, hun? I mean, Jesus. This oh, is wait, you mean like son. a lethal injection? Guess what? A fucking gun does here. the same goddamn thing. Cap him right in the fucking uh, brain. Click, clack, pow. Ooh, Easy. Man. You want me to? Tupac got have shot to. nine times. Duck only I'll has to take no. one bullet. Don't be you a don't pussy. Kill your son. Fuck. I, I, I can't. I could do this. Kenny, you're his dad. You do it. And I'm his mother. He's right. And don't give me that I brought him into this world joke. Shush. He's still a baby boy. It would be different if he were older. Let me do this. I still no, can't believe that Katja birthed that no, ick. No, stay with me. Your son loves you. You should remember him as the silly boy. I'm sorry, she out. looks like she sneaks into zoos after they close and, like, sniffs the pens of the animals. I don't know.
yeah, this gets pretty brutal. Hope you guys are down for some kid murder. I can't. Lee, be with him. Oh, but I wanted to watch. Man. Do we have to talk to Kenny? What's or can we just sit here in awkward silence? <laughs> I kind of like the awkward silence a little bit more. Buck is dying. I know. What you want to watch? Doing? Oh, man. Ah. She's making sure he's okay. But how? He's bitten. With a nine millimeter. Sure he doesn't come back. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. See, Clementine will remember your honesty. Look, like she's not you. fucking stupid. She's not dumb, and she's not impressionable. No. And God. that's what I love the most about her. She's depicted so well as a character. It had to be done. Okay. Like, you can't bullshit her. There this is no what I was choice. talking about before. Where, like, if you try to weave a okay. whole bunch of fantastical narratives into her I'm head, she here. doesn't fucking believe it. She's probably a mess. She's not impressionable, yeah. and she's keep not fucking dumb. Train, she's right? not stupid. And keep your eyes open. Like, she knows what the situation is. She knows what's going on. She's not oblivious to shit. And it's like, you can actually see that throughout the course of the game, that the real world is taking a toll on her bits at a time. And I like that a lot. You could do it, Kat. Yeah, so here's you the said thing. You could do it. She committed suicide. So Kenny just lost not only his son, but his wife fucking shot herself also. Absolutely brutal. It's fucking insane double tap, double clap. Like literally fucking It's just fucking metal as shit out here. Yeah, see, like, that's also what I like. What These devs did not fuck around making this game. They kept it real as shit right here. You're his dad. You gotta do this. Just put an end to it, man. They kept it real as shit. It's just so good. Like, Duck not only watched his mom die, Duck is dying. Kenny just fucking came across his wife's corpse after committing suicide with all this emotional turmoil. And now he has to do the hardest thing that a parent would ever have to do. It's just gut punch after gut punch, a kick to the fucking balls, and then another goddamn gut punch. Do it! Yeah, we had to scream at him right there. He would have hesitated too much. We had to just push him over the edge right there. It's fucking brutal, but it's catharsis. You kind of need it. He'll thank me for it later. He'll remember that we emotionally supported him here. That is some fucking insanely dark shit, though. I remember the first time I saw this scene, and it devastated me.